Hey everybody, this is Billy Gilman, and you're listening to FHR Radio, today's best country. Sitting here today with Billy Gilman, how are you doing, Billy? Oh, I'm doing well, tired. We just finished a long lines and lines and lines of people, but it's fun. It's what it's about, so we're good. What are you all doing at CMA Fest this year? We're doing the booths, and we're doing interviews with, uh, I think, Country Weekly and GAC, and then, of course, the Riverfront Performance, the big, the big time, so... A lot of things. <laughs> Within three days. <laughs> Nuts. How many uh, songs are you doing at River Stage? I think we're, every artist is allotted 25 minutes, so what is that? Five songs. I get to get with my band yet, so we'll, we'll pick out the stuff probably tomorrow morning. Or yep. tonight, probably. And what time do you go on? I go on at 125. 125. What do you have to say when you come to your booths and you see lines that are so long that they need to break out the rope? You know, it, what's, what's awesome about it is, you know, these past couple of years, um, it hasn't been like one voice, like promotion and all that, you know, coming back into it out of whatever happened, you know, all the changing of my life. It's great to see they're still there. It's, it's really awesome to see that they're still rooting for me and nothing's changed. So it gives you a morale that's, that's unbelievable. Is there going to be another single off your album that's out right now? Yes, we're working on that right now. Uh... As far as I know, I think it's going to be I Will, uh, which was uh, the most requested song on the record. People loved that, and they wanted to hear it on the radio, so I think we're putting it in, into gear now and, and seeing what happens. We were actually broadcasting live from the Hall of Fame yesterday, and Pam Tillis was there, as you know, uh, doing some stuff. What was it like to uh, sing a song with Pam Tillis on the record? Pam, I can remember sitting for four and a half hours uh, in, in, in 95 degree heat to see her sing at a local fair in my own town. And to actually call her a friend and to talk to her, it's just, she's, she's awesome. You know, it's, it's a great experience. She's the best. I don't think there's many like her in this business. It's, it's awesome. We heard you just had a couple casino shows not that long ago that were sold out. What, did, what was your first thought when you found out that those, so, those shows for you were sold out? I think that's any artist's fear, you know, how many people are out there. And uh, so it was great. And some were family, but the most of them were fans. And there were a lot of people booked over in case tickets fell out. So it was, it was a great feeling to go on that stage and know that, you know, they're all in that w one room to hear you. And, and I released, or I sang, performed some new songs that I've never sang before, a lot from um, One Voice and some demos that I thought would be cool to, to reevaluate. I had gotten some songs like for Dare to Dream, and I never sang them, and I brought some of those out. Uh, for the fans to preview, so it was it was really neat. It was really neat. Are you all planning on uh, looking at starting to look at material anytime soon for another record? Not right now. We're doing a lot to promote um, myself as far as fanfare and of course doing the telephone and all that. Um, where uh, this this concert that I'm doing at the Riverfront tomorrow afternoon, uh, a lot of uh, industry people are coming, which is awesome. So hopefully that'll be a turnaround. We're we're excited. Some big people. Even before when you were on Epic and now Image and all that other stuff, do you view it important that an artist make fanfare a stop on their tour schedule? Absolutely, because, you know, we, as artists, a lot of times don't see, they buy the records, they buy the tickets, they buy the T-shirts, all of that. And, you know, I think we have to be grateful for that because they they make us who we are. They, they give us a living. You know, so I think it's it's definitely appropriate to to take a minute and say thank you. According to a lot of your, I know you've been to a lot of doctors and a lot of different things. Do they anticipate your voice going any different, or do they think it's mellowed out now? Well, it's done changing so drastic where I'd have to stop. Um, so the doctor said, yes, it's good. Just, just you know, if it feels weird that day, don't push it. You know, and uh, but being taught vocally taught from early on, I know the steps to take to to protect it. Uh, so it's not going to change anymore. Probably just mellow out a little lower, maybe, but nothing so drastic where I have to not sing. Do they ever tell you not to uh, try and hit the high notes so much in songs? No, if it's in my range, I can hit any high note I want. And I was reading on something that someone was concerned about my belting or something like that. If you're properly taught, you can yell all you want. You can belt all you want. That's not a problem. Um, so if you're, if you're taught to sing in the head voice, and that's what I was taught, not falsetto. People think head voice is falsetto. It's a totally different process. And not in the throat. Um, you're fine. You can sing for hours. 
I, I, I've been known to sing for six, seven, eight hours in the studio, just solid. You know, we take a 17-hour day in the studio, but I'll probably sing eight of those hours straight, you know, and with the proper rest and with the proper technique, you can last. I know a lot of people have uh, um, worried, you know, as, as time's gone by, but how, how has it been to you knowing, especially since this is Fanfare Week, um, CMA Fest, mm -hmm. um, how has it, has it made you realize how important the fans are since they stuck around for so long? Absolutely, and that's what kept me going, uh, especially during that time where I didn't do anything. The fans kept sending in letters and all that stuff. Um, so they, they are what keep me going, and to see it grow like it has this year, it's just, you know, an awesome feeling. So I know that it's not, it's, it's just getting bigger, you know, and, and a couple of record companies have found that out and saying, well, this, I guess this is real for real, you know, it wasn't just, he, come, he came back to prove something and then fell out again. Now we're proving points, and, which is good, and it's, it's getting some reaction, which is awesome. I know when you, when you were, you know, your first record, obviously, One Voice, and that song really, even today, has exploded into something where a lot of people are still requesting it. In your shows that you're doing nowadays, since we've heard various different agencies that you've talked to, you've said that um, you want to kind of get people away from the little Billy and into the, the new Billy. Um, is it hard for you to sing one voice knowing that they're relating that to the little Billy? No, because it's so different. Um, I don't, you know, what I want is, like Leanne Rhyme said to me, and we were talking for a good hour on this just one subject, she said, you know, you just got to keep out there. Keep your pictures in the paper. Keep your new face. You know, your new, you can sing the old songs, any old song you want. They'll remember, but they'll come to know you as the adult that you're becoming or that you are, whatever. So I would never stop singing one voice. It's my signature. But, you know, with the different, with the different frame, mind frame it has now, even though it's the same message, it's totally different. It's in a lower key. It's a different, really a different person, you know. So uh, I would never stop singing it, but... Yeah, you got. It's nice to know that people are getting over that fact. Oh, you've grown up. Yeah, it does happen. <laughs> on the the one of the first songs on on the album is Billy the Kid. Is that kind of a is that song when when you seen it? Um, did you think that that this is a song that says what I'm doing right now? Yeah, that's a kick butt song. And um, a couple of people that are interested in in, in doing something with me, uh, their one of their artists had a similar song. And um, it was pretty cool to see the reaction towards the other person that had the song like that. Uh, so it's, it was pretty cool uh, to see the reaction to that. And I'm, I was kind of timid on releasing it uh, on a record because I was like, well, maybe this is too harsh. Maybe it's like step back a little bit. But the fans go wild for it. So, hey, I'll give it to them, whatever. <laughs> it seems like a, like a really good live song. And uh, it, do you find it rewarding knowing that even though some people in the industry may say that, you know, you shouldn't come back or whatever, um, do you find it re rewarding um, not so much that you may be a big success, but more the fact that you're doing what someone told you you couldn't do? Oh, yeah, and the majority, 99.99999% are for me. You know, people in this industry, it's a family. It really, really is. And... Um, uh, I thank everyone for being that way, and it's not, they, they have to be, they just are, you know, but that 1% that said, oh, that's it, he's washed up, some papers or whatever, it's nice to prove them wrong, and it's nice to have a voice again and, and tell them and put them in their place, it's great, it's a great feeling. <laughs> I want to thank you for taking the time to sit down with oh, us. Oh, please, my pleasure. Is there something you want to say to the fans real quick, because I know last time, like well, like I said, when we did the album thing, there's there's over 100 people from everywhere from Germany to Guam to Australia and all kinds of different countries listening. I just want to say thank you for buying the records and, and keep supporting us. We're, we're on our way to bigger and better things. It's so close and uh, it's been a fun ride and, and I think, you know, I think I needed this low period to realize who I am and realize if it's important to me. So it's Everything's been, I think, happening for a reason. So thank you for hanging in, and it's, it's going to get fun. So thank you for, for hanging in with us. It's been great.